Hi, I'm Christy Hoffman. Today I'm here with one of my mentors, Dr. Martha Rogers, acclaimed author, business strategist, founding partner of Peppers and Rogers Consultancy. Thanks so much for visiting us today at Total Package TV. It's so great to talk with you, Christy. It's, uh, it's just a, a terrific uh, program you've got going there. Thank you. Well, we want to talk to you, first of all, about an overview of your career and your rise to success on where you are today. It really came in three parts. Uh, right out of college, I was an advertising copywriter, and then I went back to school and, uh, and got a PhD. I didn't really intend to get a PhD. That's an interesting story. And uh, once you do that, then you have to become a professor. So I did that for 15 years. And then I uh, wrote a book, co-authored a book with Don Peppers, and that book did extremely well. And we started a company based on it, and since then we've written eight more books. And uh, the company is still going, and, uh, and so that's been the, the latest phase. Talk to us about who has been your biggest role model and the biggest influence in your life. Well, that's, <laughs> that's sort of like saying what's your favorite book. Yes. But um, I, if you say, <clears throat> if you think about uh, career, there are probably two. One is uh, Richard Joel, the guy who when I got to um, go for my second master's degree at University of Tennessee, he asked me about my experience as a copywriter and then as advertising director of a major department store and chain. and. And I told him about it and he said, oh, I don't think we want you taking courses. I think we want you teaching courses. And he matriculated me right away and I had a teaching assistantship and next thing you know, I had a PhD. So, so I would say that was a huge step. And then, of course, Don Peppers, my co-author and partner uh, for all these years. And, uh, you know, somebody, long, not long after we met, we did an interview. And it was very telling because uh, he's, he was an engineer and he was on Madison Avenue. He was a, an advertising guy. And he said... Um, and they, they asked us, what did you not expect to be true about the other? And, uh, and I said, well, you know, he was an engineer. I expected him, I never expected him to be such a good writer and, uh, and such a good thinker. And he said, well, she was an advertising, I, I mean, a, a college professor. I never expected her to have ideas. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's really, so, and we've been uh, working together for 23 years now and doing all these books and our company, Peppers and Rogers Group which now has about 300 people around the world. Talking about the Total Package Professional Woman, the whole concept of the Total Package Professional is to help women step up to their next level of success at work. Yes, so good. I want to ask you, what attributes do you think are relevant and necessary for young women or women in the workplace these days to be able to do that? I would say that the number one thing is to do your homework and do you remember the old Dress for Success book, book back in the 80s? Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> when I, I ended up as the advertising director of this giant uh, department store chain. And part of the reason for that was because that was the 70s when everybody wore bell bottoms and stuff like that. And I dressed uh, the right way every day. And I think that that is one of the reasons they kept promoting me and putting me over in the corner office and all that sort of stuff. But the, uh, I think that part of it is you always go into every meeting prepared. You go into every meeting doing exactly, uh, having done everything you can do to know what you can know about the people there and what you need to do and having more than what's expected of you when you walk in the door. So it's hard work. It's just hard work. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, a few good ideas are a good thing. I certainly would, would uh, um, suggest that. There's one other thing, though, Christy, that I think is important for women especially. And that is back when I was a college professor, I remember I had a student who was, uh, we, we did a lot of group projects in the business school. And, uh, and so it was, it was difficult sometimes for them to have to, to work in these groups. And, uh, and this woman came in to me during my office hours and she said, I'm in this terrible group. I've got these three guys and they're making me do all the work and they're just, they're just, you know, they don't do anything and I just, I don't know what to do about it. And I said, well, you just got to go tell the professor and you've got to carve off a piece of it for yourself and ask to be graded on that part rather than just take the group grade. And she says, oh, I can't do that. If I, if I did that, they'd hate me. And I said, do you care? Yeah. Because <laughs> here's a really radical idea. It's important to, I mean, you know what, I think it's very important. People who succeed are well-liked. And we have, I, I hope, you know, get along with people and do all that stuff. But you're going to meet people in your life who are just not worth the effort. And I think women especially are so... Uh, bogged down in this idea that I've got to be loved and, and all that sort of thing, that they're not willing occasionally to say, you know, I don't really care whether these deadbeats really like me or not. I'd rather just get the job done. I want to do well. And I've got my future to think about as well as the future of other people who are also working hard, smart, doing good, talented, 
and uh, and that's what I really have to concentrate on. How do you come up with all of these new and fresh ideas for books? Do you see that as you go out and speak to audiences? Do you hear it as you go into corporations? Or how do you know what that next iteration is going to be? Yes, and yes, and yes. <laughs> it's like talking to people and thinking to people, I'll be at the South by Southwest conference in a couple of weeks. It's, it's uh, you know, just an amalgam of this interconnectedness that we were talking about mm -hmm. before and, and, and thinking all the time. But it's also, I think, being sort of steeped in it. Um, you know, uh, the idea that that you know, it's what does it mean next, and, and what is it? Where are we going from here? And, and I will tell you, it's not a matter of how do we think of the topic for the next book. It's which of the topics that we need to to cover for our next book do, are we going to do? Because ah. we can only do one next. Okay. Now we have a few total package favorites questions. <laughs> so as it relates to body, brain, and spirit, and sort of that savvy, real, and successful woman. We would like to know from Dr. Martha Rogers, oh dear. your favorite form of exercise. Uh, you know, I do. Um, I have this wonderful old tape that I've committed, of course, to um, the computer now in case something happens to the tape. But it's a, an old Jane Fonda tape. And back when it first came out, a million years ago, I did it something like 536 days in a row. And I still do it. Not every single day, but I do it as often as I can because it's just so great and it's perfectly suited to my body. Um, and so she has some new stuff out, and you know I just love what she does and I admire her so much. But the uh, but I, I also do Zumba, and I get a lot of walking. And I said I, I live in uh, in New York. We have a house out in uh, Eastern Long Island, and so we walk, walk, walk everywhere, and uh, and that helps a lot of New Yorkers, I think, stay pretty healthy. And you, it, and and the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act, has not found its way to New York. Um, we're not kind here to people with disabilities, which means we climb a lot of stairs all the time. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of places you can't get to unless you're willing to really work physically. Mm -hmm. So, How about um, your favorite spiritual advisor or something that keeps you spiritually grounded? Um, you know, I think that's a wonderful question, and I have but to look at my children to see that. And, uh, and of course, James Thurber and Mark Twain. And, um, and I think that those people are, uh, everybody that's funny, I think, can keep us all spiritually grounded. I know that's an odd thing to say, and I say that cautiously since I was raised Presbyterian, and my sister is a Presbyterian minister, and everybody else in my family is either a deacon or an elder in the Presbyterian church, and so I'm counting on them to get me that grease slide to heaven, but um, I think for me, it's all about you know, really making sure that we do what we're supposed to do in terms of taking care of other people and um, and and then making sure that we are, um, you know, doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Sounds like an exciting life, and I cannot thank you enough, Dr. Martha Rogers, for being with us today. Thank you. Thank it's you. Martha, and thank you so much, Chrissy. It's really terrific, and uh, I'd love to hear from your folks, and, uh, and please do keep in touch with me, and let's uh, wish everybody a lot of luck. Thank you so much. Thank really you. enjoyed it.